Hello and welcome back. This week we're in Canada. We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Victoria was uh, beautiful. Our hotel was overlooking the water as um, we come in on the boat and... We stayed in yeah. one of the most historical buildings, I think, on the island. Yeah. And it was very, very cool. Was... This place is pretty old. This is what the hotel rooms looked like in 1946. This was 1969. And this is 1989. And then this is 2023. And Bella and I started the day at the gym. And then we had a sauna. Very luxurious. And we're about to go and have breakfast. So, so spoiled. We went and had a high tea. Yeah, that, that so this is the tea selection. So there's 18 different choices. There's a little visual aid and that's the description of each tea. So we take your time. Uh, each of you select a tea if you need any help with anyone. This food tower that we got, on the bottom we have some scones. And in the centre is kind of your savoury stuff. So we have like a croissant with some egg, a salmon sandwich, all that type of yummy stuff. And the very top is full of the delicious little cakes. I recommend the scones while they're warm. We are feeling very fancy being here right now. This is what we're used to, drinking our mud waters on the deck on our boat out at sea. We had two days on the island, so we kind of filled it, jam-packed all the things into it. Homes on the water. We came for a walk down Fisherman's Wharf and saw all these cute little houses, little boat houses that people live in. I probably wouldn't want to because there's a lot of people walking up and down, but they are pretty cute. And then we got some fish and chips. This is actually salmon fish and chips. It was so good. Love being up here with all the salmon. Definitely one of our favorite foods. A beautiful sunset in Victoria. This is the Parliament House and this is the park that we went for a little walk in and there's a lot of ducks and squirrels which I am not the biggest fan of. We yeah. drove to Souk. So we did Souk, we walked up some streams, we seen the salmon running up the streams which was really cool. Uh, there was a remains of a of a um, salmon on the shore that looked like it had just been pulled oh, out. Oh yeah, if we were mold. like half an hour earlier we would have seen a bear like attacking and eating yeah. the salmon for fish. A salmon that's been eaten right here where we are. And there's a big poo next to it. <laughs> so I think there was a bear here not that long ago having his breakfast. Pretty crazy. We have never seen a bear in the wild, so we would literally shoot ourselves if we saw a bear right now. We don't have a clue what to do. We are not used to bears for sure. But we are going to go for a little bit more of a wander and take a look around. There's a fresh cook. <laughs> and there is what it had for breakfast. We live on a boat and everyone's always like, oh, you guys scared of sharks? No, I'm definitely way more scared of bears. Yeah. So that would have been really cool. We didn't see any bears, but my God, that place was absolutely beautiful. It was so magic. Everywhere you look was like, picturesque and see anything like that in a really long time uh -huh. so yeah it was it was beautiful and then the last day we actually drove up to Sydney no we're not in Australia there is a Sydney in Vancouver Island and we called in to see our old pals at Precision Sales yeah. so we dropped in to say hi to Ron and Daryl and the rest of the team and they showed us around and yeah it was really nice it was a short sweet trip but it was good to catch up with them and We'd love to go back to that island and spend some time there. There's some absolutely beautiful places. So we then got back on the ferry and went back to the US. Oh, look, it was bloody magnificent, this little spot. Highly recommend it. Great little town. Such an awesome holiday. So thankful. So just so much gratitude. Until next time, Canada. Oh, but it is cold. I think we need to go inside, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a jacket on. <laughs> We're on the wrong side of the deck. Let's go around this side where the sun is. 
Okay. So we drove back to the boat and then we had a rest of our time in Seattle. But after we got back from Victoria and we were staying on our friend's boat, we had a few days just of chilling because we had been on the go since we were at the boat show and the boat show is really hectic and then we went and visited my brother and there was like we were just doing stuff all the time so it was really nice to just have a few days just to kind of yeah, take out. a few breaths, chill out and and get down to the local markets there, what are the markets called? Pike Market. Pike Markets and go taste some uh, salmon samples and and there's this uh street i wouldn't even say it's a wall there's like a whole street and this is a wall where everyone just chews on gum and sticks it on a wall so let's go see what that looks like it's called the gum wall <laughs> it's really disgusting it's kind of pretty because there's all different colors of gum all over the walls so it's kind of like rainbow colors but when you stand and you really look at it <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty gross it makes you kind of a little bit gag when you think about it Oh yeah, someone didn't chew that one right up properly. Oh. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. I might put that one back and try another one. Oh. Anyway, we chewed some gum, we put it on the wall. Because <laughs> that's... That's what you do. That's what you do. <laughs> there was a lot there. There was a lot of gum and apparently they'd cleaned it off and it just came back again so interesting and different mm -hmm. so the locks were pretty cool it takes you up into the uh lakes behind seattle there just walk past where there's all these trees and it looks like snow on the leaves but it's actually bird poo it's all the birds there's nests and stuff in the trees and they're obviously eating the salmon because the poo actually kind of smells a little bit like salmon but we're just down at the locks today having a look at the locks we're in seattle and uh, we watched a couple of boats transiting in and out of the lake, which was, yeah, just different, something we hadn't seen before. We were actually there for my 40th birthday. We drove to... Mount Rainer. And more snow, more hiking, and that was really cool. That was um, a great day. We are. Oh, <laughs> she's a little bit excited, guys. Might be looking at Sarah, but if I just turn the camera around, have a look at this. Hey, that is bloody beautiful. Are we just timed it perfectly, darling? Up for the magic hour. Up for the magic hour. I'm puffed. Oh. Are you happy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even in my wildest dreams, I didn't think we were destined to be. And now you're laying next to me. Everything feels like oh yeah. When I give you every part of me, I can't believe this is reality. And now you're laying next to me. Everything feels like oh yeah. All right, this is our last little, this is probably the highest we're gonna go. It is getting dark. And we do have to get down, down the mountain. Unfortunately, we didn't find our way up here until this afternoon. 
but they want to leave. I just want to run up here and see what it looks like. It's really That would be a long, slippery fall. Mate! <laughs> If you're hot, you just lie down. Oh. All right, so we're walking. We ran up here, but it's slippery on the way back, and this is what kind of shoes we have on. They're not very suitable for the snow, but oh, <laughs> it's very slippery. Yeah, I'll just take Sarah's hand <laughs> here, but I'll probably go ass up myself. <laughs> At least we'll go ass up together. <laughs> Hang on, let me put the camera away. It's probably a good idea. Happy birthday to me! We're about to head back down the mountain because it is a bit late. It took us a while to work out how to get up here today, unfortunately. So it's the end of the day, but we're so glad we made the effort. It's absolutely beautiful. If you liked watching us and this video, you can give us a like, a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this scenery. It's very, very different for us. Obviously, as a lot of you are probably used to all of this, but we are really not. So we have been just losing our minds at this place. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just so great. I'm just so happy. It's so beautiful here. It's just like, it's just magical. I feel magical. It's like a winter wonderland. Uh, yeah. So graceful. <laughs> Sound like you're ice skating or break dancing. <laughs> so we just saw a cougar. He's, wa he's watching us through there. That had apparently been stalking us because it was like following us down the mountain and there was no one else around. And yeah, we got told that they were quite dangerous afterwards, but I was. That's just a little kitty cat. It's a little pussy cat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when I was trying to get it on camera, I'm like, ah, oh! and pretty excited about it. But everyone's like, oh, they're really dangerous. So it's lucky that we're still alive. But it was a really beautiful place to spend my 40th birthday with my lovely family and I was born on Halloween so after we were up the mountain and we had a full day in the snow we came back to our friend's place and it was Halloween we missed most of the little kids and stuff yeah. because we were kind of late getting back but yeah. our friend had a cake for me or two cakes for us oh, delicious. and we had pizza and yeah it was a really nice day I had I was very spoiled and Worked out all right. It did work out all right. Obviously, we had a dental appointment in there at one stage too. I got my teeth fixed. I no longer look like this guy. Good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Anyway, it was time to leave Seattle, and Kenneth, this is for you, mate. It was for best blooper of the year. We couldn't think of a better person to have it. Just before we get off the boat, here's a quick little tour. Wide boat that we've been staying on. So here is the kitchen. It is a pretty big kitchen. This is the V berth. This is where Taj and I slept. We have a bathroom up here as well. And then we come into the living room. It's a pretty big, nice living room, very open, lots of windows. And then the aft cabin, which is where mum and dad slept. They have their own bathroom as well. And it's a pretty nice boat. Hey guys, big thank you to Kenneth and Tracy for letting us stay on their boat. Kind of excited to get back, sleep in my own bed get back to the boat, nail out the boat works, and then get back in the water and go somewhere tropical and warm because it is freezing. We went to our friend's place and we said goodbye and we love you and we'll see you soon. And then we got in an Uber to go to the airport. We thought we had plenty of time. We did have plenty of time. <laughs> we got to the airport and the security was insane. First security section was completely full and they said you're gonna to have to move to the next section which wasn't where our terminal was anyway. <laughs> By the time we cleared it took security. took us an hour to go through security. Which is usually like 10 minutes, 15. And we had to, once we went through security we had to then get on a train, go to another terminal. And once we got to our flight. We missed our flight. Closed the gate 15 minutes early without saying anything, they just decided to. So, um, yeah, we're stuck in Seattle for one more day. They change our flights to tomorrow night, 
So yeah, we have one more day here. We just can't leave. We're just not meant to go back to the boat yet, I guess. We Ooh, missed there. our flight. <laughs> first, first, first time ever. First time ever. You can't actually leave. It on was the still right there. Time. The plane was still there. We could have got on the plane, but yeah. they had shut the doors and they were like, no. no. We had to make a phone call to our friends. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> but it's okay because we have great friends here in Seattle and we're going back to their house. So all is okay. One more day in Seattle. Extra night with them, which was really nice. Yeah. Super grateful for that. Thanks, Ken and Tracy. And Cooper, we can see you, Porter, but we love you all. And um, yeah, thank you for everything, hosting us. And it was amazing. We yeah. had a blast. We really did. We're a little bit early to the airport the following day because we really didn't want to miss that second plane. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the airport. We're gonna try again for our flights. <laughs> Whole different scenario today. We got to the airport. Obviously, plenty more time than we did last night, but it took us 10 minutes to get through security today. Yesterday, it was nearly an hour getting through security that we had to get on train and we had to go to another gate. So, like it looks like we'll be heading back to Phoenix. So we did make the flight. We got on the plane and we flew back to Phoenix and our friend Dwayne, thank you Dwayne, he had to hang around an extra day in yeah, Phoenix because of the fella. because of uh, missing the flight and everything so we appreciate you and then we drove back to the bow yard and yep <laughs> after a bit of reality <laughs> it was a bit like sailing you have your highs and lows we had our highs traveling and we we're back here no we were we actually were refreshed and we were ready to get back into the jobs and um, yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was good. So here we are, back in the boatyard. But we are getting somewhere, aren't we? Well, it kind of feels like that and then it kind of doesn't. <laughs> Just want to say a massive thank you for watching this video. Thank you to our patrons and our sponsors that make these possible. Love you, thank you, and we will continue to share this amazing journey. Thank you for watching. See you Stay next tuned. Time. See you next time. Bye.